Starship Super Heavy is stacked and so close to finally attempting its first launch to orbit. Falcon 9 completes a slew of missions, and we finish with today's honorable mention. I'm Kevin, and this is SpaceX in the News. Last week, SpaceX updated their website to include new digital renders of Starship Super Heavy, as well as stats alongside drawings of its sea level and wrapped back engines. You can check them out at your own pace at SpaceX.com. Starship 26 received its final wrap back last week at the Starbase construction site, and Booster 7 was hoisted onto the orbital launch mount, potentially for the last time before the maiden liftoff. On Monday this week, she waved to the camera before going through some stress testing. Both her tanks were cryofilled to the brim successfully and then detanked. Her upper half, Starship 24, had already been transported from the rocket garden to the launch site on Saturday morning. But it wasn't until a couple days after the cryo test that S24 was plopped on top. SpaceX had to make two attempts for a clean mating. But Elon did tweet out some pretty rad drone shots of the event. Starship preparing for launch. But when, everyone is asking. Well, SpaceX is saying they have a launch rehearsal next week, and the orbital launch should happen about a week after that pending FAA approval. And Elon, you know, being Elon with his Elon time, had to chime in yesterday that even though the WDR appears to be scheduled for next week, well, so is the launch, pending regulatory approval. While there are possible road closures currently in place for the upcoming WDR, and the FAA had SpaceX requested target date for liftoff as early as April 10th, now the 17th as of yesterday, with back updates following, a final brief D-stack is expected so the flight termination system can be armed on the rocket. So a couple more events need to happen before the first orbital launch attempt can occur, including the issuance of a launch license. If you're planning on making the trip down to Boca Chica to watch, keep in mind there's a very strong chance it'll take more than one countdown to reach T-0 without scrubbing. If that happens, it'll probably take a couple days to refill the tanks and reset. On Sunday, Falcon 9 blasted off from Slick 4 East at Vandenberg Space Force Base, California, carrying space vehicles for the Space Development Agency's Proliferate Warfighter Space Architecture, a new layered network of satellites and supporting elements that will provide global military communication and missile warning indication and tracking capabilities. The first stage boost back burn to LZ-4 on the west coast, licking a low layer of clouds in the process and completing its second mission. Then just this morning, Falcon left vertically from Slick 40, Florida. Heaving Intelsat is 4 e to geosynchronous transfer orbit where it was deployed successfully 32 minutes later. A shortfall of Gravitas caught the booster on the Atlantic Ocean, which flew for its fourth time. And quickly, Axiom Space announced the month of May is when they're expecting to launch their next private Dragon mission of astronauts to the ISS. But now it's time for today's honorable mention. On Monday, NASA and Canada announced the four astronauts to orbit the moon for Artemis II, the first crewed mission on NASA's path to establishing a long-term presence on the moon for science and exploration. And don't forget diversity, equity, and inclusion. The approximately 10-day flight test will launch atop the SLS rocket no earlier than November of next year. Reed Wiseman is the commander. This will be his second trip to space. Victor Glover, the pilot, should look familiar. He was the pilot for his first flight on Crew-1. Christina Cook is a mission specialist, her second mission as well. And Jeremy Hansen is also a mission specialist. This will be his first experience as a space sardine. Well, that's all for today. Thanks so much for checking in. Super duper shout out to all my supporters back in the channel. Do have a good Friday and a nominal weekend. God bless and Godspeed.